Welcome to our agricultural dual wall installation video. Dual wall pipe is a great choice for mains because of its smooth interior which allows for increased hydraulic capacity. Keep in mind that proper installation of HDPE pipe is important to pipe performance. That's because the backfill around the pipe actually supports the flexible nature of the pipe and distributes the load from above the pipe into the backfill around the pipe. As the load above the pipe increases, the vertical diameter of the pipe decreases and the horizontal diameter increases, yet it is resisted by the support of the backfill along the sides. If there are voids in the backfill, or if the soil is not supportive, excess deflection may occur and compromise pipe performance. With that said, let's start at the beginning. Design is a critical component of a proper water management system. Elevation maps help in determining the location and size of main and lateral lines. Main placement is dependent on the field elevation and desired location of the outlet, which is the point where water is discharged from the system into an adjacent waterway. When preparing for installation, remember to contact the proper personnel to locate and mark underground utilities. Sufficient grade is necessary throughout the length of the main to ensure proper drainage. It is recommended that the outlet be the lowest point in the system. In situations where a natural gravity flow outlet is not possible due to lack of grade, a Prinsco catch basin can be installed to provide a pumped outlet. Use the Prinsco drainage calculator on our website to determine the correct diameter of your main based on your project size and scope. Pipe size is calculated using the area to be drained, grade of pipe, and targeted drainage coefficient. Proper main sizing is critical to ensure the success of your water management system now and in the future. You should always factor in plans for later additions to the system that may require increased main capacity. The Prinsco slide rule is another handy tool to help with these calculations. Proper excavation techniques are necessary to ensure a long-term functioning water management system. Trench widths should be just wide enough to safely place and compact backfill around the pipe while being narrow enough to utilize the strength of the existing soil. Trench widths for smaller diameter pipe will largely be influenced by the smallest bucket size available. The recommended trench width should include 6 to 12 inches of space on either side of the pipe which must remain centered in the trench throughout the installation. When planning excavation, keep in mind that burial depths for mains can vary throughout the project depending on the grade of the pipe and the topography of the field. Installation procedures should be adjusted accordingly. Pipe buried 8 feet or less typically does not require imported backfills. Shaped trench bottoms which can be formed with a spoon attachment should be used provided the existing soil will hold a stable shaped trench. The rounded trench bottom should closely fit the outside diameter of the pipe to provide sufficient support to the spring line, which is the horizontal center line of the pipe. The dimensions of the rounded trench bottom for each diameter pipe are available from your Prinsco representative or at prinsco.com forward slash ag resources. It is important to maintain a consistent line and grade while excavating with a shaped bottom to ensure each length of pipe goes together properly. Another option some contractors have for a shaped trench bottom is use of a tile plow and boot for installing up to 18 inch dual wall pipe. For pipe buried 8 feet or more or under a roadway, a flat bottom trench with imported fill is recommended. Prinsco recommends 4 inches of 1.5 inch minus crushed rock or gravel as bedding for pipe diameter up to 36 inches. 42 inch and larger pipe should have 6 inches of 1.5 inch minus crushed rock or gravel for bedding. Safety is the number one concern when installing dual wall pipe. While excavating, be certain trench walls remain stable and safe. Follow all local and national guidelines for maintaining a safe trench. Remove rock or unyielding material one foot below grade and a minimum of six inches on either side of the pipe. With any pipe, groundwater or seasonal high water tables may cause problems, making dewatering necessary for proper and efficient installation. Again, 
Maintaining consistent grade throughout the length of the trench is critical to allow the water to flow to the outlet. High density polyethylene pipe is lightweight and easy to manage by hand or with light duty equipment. Dual wall pipe 18 inches or less can usually be moved by hand by lifting both ends of the pipe. Handling 24 inch and larger dual wall should be done with a strap attached to a bucket of a backhoe or excavator. Prinsco dual wall pipe is available with bell and spigot ends that self couple as well as plain end sticks. When installing bell and spigot pipe it is essential to start at the outlet with the spigot end pointed downstream. The end of the pipe should extend two feet beyond the embankment and have a rodent guard installed to prevent plugging of the system. In a controlled drainage system, a water control structure can be installed upstream from the outlet. Warning: If the spigot ends are pointed upstream and bells are pushed into spigots, dirt and debris can collect in the bell which can undermine the integrity of the joint. Therefore, the bell should always be pointed upstream with the spigot end pushed into the bell. Prior to inserting the spigot, remove the protective wrap covering the gasket. Do not remove the gasket from the pipe. The gasket creates a critical seal to resist soil migration through the joint. It is important to use a clean rag to remove any dirt or debris around the spigot and gasket. In the same manner, be certain the interior of the bell is clean. For proper assembly of bell and spigot pipe, Prinsgo recommends using a sacrificial spigot to prevent damage to the bells. A sacrificial spigot can be constructed using the spigot end of an existing pipe. First, remove the gasket, which will allow the spigot to be easily removed during assembly. Next, cut the spigot end of the pipe three corrugations from the end. The remaining length of pipe can easily be used on another project. This is what the sacrificial spigot should look like. Smaller diameter pipe can be pushed together by hand or leverage together using a spanner block and lever. Always be certain that proper safety measures are in place when a worker is in the trench. Larger diameter pipe will require the use of a backhoe or excavator. Use the bucket of the excavator to push the pipe together utilizing a sacrificial spigot and block. Do not push directly against the bell end of the pipe with the bucket as this could damage the bell. Another option for joining pipe is using a nylon strap as a sling attached to an excavator bucket. Wrap the strap around the pipe near the middle. Slide the clean spigot end into the bell, making certain to keep both ends clear of dirt and debris. Use the bucket to pull the two lengths of pipe together, making sure to maintain line and grade during assembly. Give care not to overhome the joint with excess force. Occasionally, cuts to the bell and spigot pipes must be made in the field to connect pipe and fittings. Cuts should always be made in the valley of the corrugations. To join plain end pipe and fittings, use a split coupler. Center the coupler under the pipe, making sure the corrugations in the pipe match those in the coupler. Place the pipe or fitting to be joined into position centered on the coupler. Close the coupler around the two ends and secure the coupler with zip ties. Dual wall pipe with sock is available to use in sandy soil conditions. To install dual wall pipe with sock, assemble the pipe same as previously shown. It is important to keep the sock material pulled back from the joint during assembly. Once the joint is assembled, pull the bell end sock over the joint. Then extend the spigot end sock over the joint overlapping the downstream sock. Next, apply tile tape around the pipe to hold the sock in place. Proper line and grade are essential when installing dual wall mains. Ensure that the connected pipe lengths are aligned. We recommend there is no more than one degree misalignment for bell and spigot connections. Misaligned joints can allow soil to migrate into the joints leading to sinkholes. As pipe is installed, ensure that the grade matches the drainage plan. Selecting proper backfill materials is essential in ensuring adequate pipe support and long-term pipe performance. If the burial depth of the pipe is 8 feet or less and a shaped trench bottom was used, native backfill material can be used to fill the trench. No large chunks of soil, large rocks, or frozen backfill should be used. 
Cover the area around the pipe with a compacted native soil to 6 inches above the crown of the pipe. Make sure the backfill is worked along the pipe and down the sides to eliminate any voids. Fill the rest of the trench with native soil, compacting at minimum every 12 inches. For pipe with burial depths greater than 8 feet or under roadways, proper bedding must be placed. Continue backfilling by adding crushed rock to the haunch area of the pipe, making certain to leave no voids. Always make safety your number one concern in the trench, no matter the depth. Backfill the crushed rock or gravel bedding to a minimum of 6 inches above the top of the pipe. The remainder of the trench can be backfilled with native soils, compacted at a minimum of every 12 inches. To recap, Ensuring a water management system works effectively, you should Make certain the drainage plan is thought through and well designed Follow proper excavation methods Handle pipe in a manner consistent with Prinsco's recommendations Assemble dual wall bell and spigot making sure the spigot end is downstream Carefully install split couplers on plain end dual wall pipe and fittings Maintain the correct line and grade for your water management system. Carefully select and place proper backfill materials as instructed. Go to Prinsco.com for more information.